Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Lasmi Utami from English Education 1 2018. In this video, I would like to explain my proposal that includes the title Research Problem, Research Objective, and Research Method. Well, the title of my proposal is The Implementation of Crossword Puzzle Game to Improve Students' Vocabulary Mastery of 7th Grade at Junior High School No. 52, Palembang. From the title above, there are several problems that can be identified. The problems include, how does crossword puzzle increase students' vocabulary and is there an increase in vocabulary by using crossword puzzle game media for 7th grade students in junior high school number 52, Palembang? After that, the purpose of the study are first to describe how crossword puzzle increase students' vocabulary and second is to find out whether there is an increase in vocabulary by using crossword puzzle game media for 7th grades of junior high school number 52 Palemba. Next, let's move to the research method. In the research method, there are research design, setting and participant, data collection, variability, reliability, and data analysis. First, research design. This research is the implementation of improving student vocabulary mastery of 7th grade at junior high school number 52 Palembang using crossword puzzle game is a quantitative research and also an action or experimental research. This research has two variables, independent variable and dependent variable. Independent variable is implementation of crossword puzzle game in improving students' vocabulary mastery. And dependent variable is 7th grade students. Next, setting and participant. This research was conducted in junior high school number 52 Palembang that located at Kelapa Gading Street number 4, Talang Kelapa, Alang Alang Lebar, as the setting of the place. For the setting of the time, this research will be carried out in the first semester of the academic year 2021 and 2022. In this research, the characteristic of the participant is active 7th grade students at junior high school number 52 Palembang. The population of this study are the 7th grade students of junior high school number 52 Palembang, and the sample are 26 students. After that, there is data collection. The data collection was carried out through classroom observation and interview. The interview respondents were English teachers and students. In connection with observations, the researchers conducted classroom observations from the observation stage to the last implementation meeting. The data is in the form of interview transcript, sketch, and photo. Then, there are validity and reliability. Data validity is necessary to ensure that the data collected is accurate and corresponding. The study used the triangulation method to check whether the data trustworthy or not. Triangulation is the activity of comparing data to make researchers see things not only from one perspective. Researchers or I, use the principles of the triangulation method based on Burns 1999, as cited in Utami 2014, page 43. First, time triangulation. In this study, data were collected over the time period of the action and recorded. Second, investigator triangulation. In this study, the English teacher acts in carrying out the teaching while the researchers become an observer. Sometimes, researchers can help the teaching and learning process. This recorded in the interview transcript. Third, theoretical triangulation. In this study, the data were analyzed from the perspective obtained from researchers and teachers. It is a way of observing activities or opinion expressed by students. 
The last, there is data analysis. The data were analyzed from interview transcript sketch collected in the study. Researchers were assisted by English teachers in processing and analyzing data. According to Burns, 1999, data can be analyzed through the following stage, as stated in Utami, 2014, page 46, which are assembling the data, quoting the data, comparing the data, building interpretation, and reporting the outcomes. Well, that's all explanation about my proposal. Sorry for making mistake. Thank you for watching and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.